What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. We are all snuggled up today. We got ourselves our hoodie. We are rocking out. We're trying to stay warm. It's actually getting colder in my area, so you guys are going to be seeing tons of hoodies on the Jeans YouTube channel. But in today's video, we are rocking out with this full incense trick, Grim Snarl, and Life Orb Zapdos team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smash that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But this team looks very, very strong, and I cannot wait to use it and try to get some wins with it we got urshfu up in that top left corner everybody knows, everybody knows urshfu is actually a very very strong pokemon we got the fighting and dark type with that unseen fist we can hit through protects we also got that focus sash with the protect wicked blow sucker punch for first turn priority and close combat for big stab fighting damage Right next to him, we got the boy Heatran with that Shukaberry and Flash Fire. Heatran is an absolute beast. Steel and Fire type with a Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, Earth Power, and Protect. Behind my face cam is our little gimmick Pokemon for today's video. We got Pranks or Grimmsnarl with that Full Incense. So if you do not know what Full Incense does, it actually slows the Pokemon or whatever Pokemon is holding it. It slows them down. So we have Trick. We can actually switch items with somebody and slow down the Pokemon for the rest of the battle. This thing also has Reflect, Spirit Break, and Fake Tears to lower special defense. Right next one, we got the boy Rillaboom over here with the Choice Band and Grassy Surge. So this thing can hit very, very hard with Grass Stab Boost, considering it will get Choice Band Boost, Grassy Surge Boost, and Stab Damage Boost. So that is big, big damage right there. We got Grassy Glide, Wood Hammer, U-Turn, and High Horsepower. Bottom left corner, we got Intimidate and Assault Vest Lander. So we just pop in there, drop Physical Attack, and then we can U-Turn out, do it again. And then we got EQ for Stab, Fly for Stab, and Rock Slide for our big coverage move. Then in the final spot, we got ourselves our Life Orb Pokemon. We got ourselves... Cantonian Zapdos with Static Ability, Protect, Thunderbolt, Hurricane, and Heat Wave. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and try to get some wins with this team. Let's get rocking here. This guy's got a pretty strong team. He's got Glaciary, Tapu Fini, Lottie Os, Chandelure, Landers, and also a Grimstone. Okay, so who should I go into? I feel like Grimstone is a good lead. You can set up your Reflect. Be rocking out with that trick of Pokemon, take their item and hand them a slower item, and then roll out with other Pokemon. I could lead Landers too in U turn. Like that could be a smart play. He has uh, physical attackers. Uh, I think Latios might be physical attacking. I know Landorus is and Grimmsnarl and Glacier. Right, Glacier is one. I believe so. Learns high horsepower. Uh, Ice of Crash. Uh, I think Grimmsnarl will definitely lead. Or I could lead. I could lead Choice Band here. I could Choice Band. If I really want to. I think we go with Soul Fest here. Lead you. I definitely want to bring Zapdos. I think Zapdos is going to be a great Pokemon. Definitely back end him. I can just U turn out with the Landers and get Zapdos in there and roll out from there. Um, hmm. And then I think I bring uh, Choice Band in the back, right? Or we can uh, not even bring you and bring Urshfu as a lead. I feel like Urshfu is such a good lead. Yeah, let's go Urshfu, Grassy Glide, and uh, Life Orb. And we'll, we'll leave Landers out of this one because he's not like too big on the physical attacking. Like, he doesn't have like big physical attackers like Dragonite or something like that where I can just keep pestering and kind of going after. But I think we'll be fine uh, without using that one. Definitely, and then dude, I feel like this uh, Choice Band Robin can do some absolute work. Just the Grassy Surge 1.3 multiplier, you get the stab, and then you have the Choice Band damage. That's just three boosts right off the rip like that. But who are you going to lead? Are you going to lead Finny? No, he gets Grimstarl and Latios, so I'm, I'm fine without leading uh, Landris. I think I'm totally fine with that. We're going to go Urshfu out here into our Grimstarl, and I am definitely going to trick on that uh, that Latios. Try to give him that uh, full incense to take whatever item he has. But yeah, let's, uh, let's set up this nice little trick, and then I think I just drop a Wicked Blow right here. Right into the... Do I Latios this one? Hmm. He might swap. He honestly might swap. I might just protect this turn. Let's see what happens. Because this thing might have a fairy move and try, try to dump on me. He might protect this turn. I'd rather trick this thing, kind of slow it down, see what happens. Yeah, we're going to hit this protect move. And let's see what, what else he does. And we're going to get off this trick. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Give me your item. What item is this thing? This game could be life orb. Which item would target... Gave him the full incense. Oh, and we took it spoken touch. That's actually good. That's actually really good for us. But he's gonna tailwind as well. Uh, that's totally fine. And is this thing setting up screens? He's gonna spear break. Good protect by me. I can wicked blow and actually get after his uh I'm actually totally fine by that. Hmm. Actually, let's set up a reflect now. And then go into the wicked blow. And just roll from there. I'm wondering if we can outspeed this Latios. I wonder if we can outspeed this Latios. It has a full incense, but it is tailwind up. But it is having an initial tailwind. And we do have its Focus Sash now. So we have two Focus Sash mods. No one's going down here. Which is pretty nice. Which is pretty nice. I do have Sucker Punch as well. I'm actually glad I kind of just like took his Focus Sash. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I, I was thinking I think it was Life Orb. So that could have been huge for us if we, if we would have stole Life Orb. We could have been thriving there. Just uh, multiplying our damage up. But Fuck's going to get set up here from a Prankster ability. Which is dandy candy. And then uh, do we outspeed? We still outspeed. Which is awesome. 
which is awesome. Wicked Blow should be able to take this thing out in one shot, no problem. Get it out of my face, Latios. You're gone. You're gone. Check that thing up. Guaranteed crit. Stab damage. Super effective. That's game over for you. So he's gone, and now we're definitely going to see a Spirit Break, which we haven't focused on, so we're not dead. But, oh, okay. The Reflect does help us out a little bit here. And we still do have Sucker Punch, and he drops our Special Attack, which is fine. We're Physical Attacking anyway. So who are you going to get out? I probably am just going to drop a Sucker Punch on whatever he throws out here. Or do we outspeed that thing? Or do we outspeed that thing? He's in the Tailwind. We might outspeed that thing. We do, we do have a Reflect up. I am just going to go after you. And I think I just drop a big old Close Combat into this. If I can land it. If I can land, if I can it, that'd be huge. But that Glacier is just such a problem. He's probably weak this policy. I can totally see it. Yes, his hand went up, but I'm still, again, I'm hoping uh, Urshfu can outspeed and get off a big punch. He is outspeeding the Grimstar, unless that thing's rocking Sucker Punch, which it can have. We'll see. Here comes the Dynamax. I can definitely see that thing going into a, uh, a what's it called? A Sucker Punch, the Grimstar, and then this thing's just rocking out on my other slot. And then, who do I have in the back? And I have Zapdos, and I have my real which I would probably have to die to next after this. Probably protect. I do have Heat Wave as a coverage move. That could be good. But I don't think we're out speeding Glacier. Glacier is a fast little mod. And this thing is going to set up a real fast, which is huge. Which is huge, huge. And we do outspeed. Here comes my close combat. Doing some damage. Is this thing policy? If this thing policy is game. Here's my defense. Try to get it off as much damage as I can. This is not policy. Okay, that's good. Knuckles going to fly through. Um, we're going to be able to go down here. He's going to go plus one. And now the problem here is, the problem here is going to be my Zapdos which just gets stomped on by And that, that's why I want the Dynamax. That is who I want the Dynamax. And is this thing life form? Chilling Nights, boost it plus two. Man, dude. We're going to get steamed here. We're going to get absolutely steamrolled. I think this thing is just going to start doing work on us. Spirit Break comes out here. We're going to get that drop, right? The special attack drop. We are going to do a decent amount of damage on him. But, dude, this thing's just a pain. Uh, let me see your speeds. Let me, let, me, let me see your speeds, buddy. 167. What was our speed? Okay, so Zapdos does outspeed Glacier. Zapdos does outspeed Glacier. And we have to Dynamax. We have to Dynamax and go for the player. Right? We have to Dynamax and go for the player. That, like, that's a that's a must. And how many turns are left in Trick Room? I can actually check this. Is it one? Oh, we got to hit him. It is one. Oh, this is terrible. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We can fake tier it. And then we can drop the heat wave. Okay. I'm a fan. We go for stab or super effective. I said we go super effective. Hopefully this takes it out. If we take it out, we win. It all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. Definitely Dynamax. max. Hit up that fake tier and roll from there. That's our, that's our point. That is our point. Has to happen. Let's get it. Come on. This is our chance. This is our chance. I totally forgot we had fake tiers. Now, luckily, I did realize it. Luckily, I did realize it because this, this, this is our one chance here. This thing's boosted plus two. If we can pick up the KO here, it's pretty much GG. We should be able to roll out and win this match. No problem. Let's see what he does. Let's see what this dude does. Here's my fake tiers. He's probably thinking, he's like, oh, no. Oh, no. Zapdos definitely outspeeds this thing. We just proved it last turn. Oh, this thing's going to set up a light screen. Okay. That might be able to eat it up. That light screen might help him out a lot. There goes the light screen. There goes the flare. Come on, baby. Take this thing out. Get it out of my face. No, dude, this thing's too bulky. It's too bulky, man. This thing's probably a soul vested too. It's probably a soul vested because it's not life or weakness policy. This thing is super bulky. He's super bulky. Hailstorm coming out here. Go after Grimstar, all please. That those eat somehow. Oh my lord, dude. This game. God, dude. Glacier is so good. He's so good. Everyone knows it. Like, dude, he's so bulky. He's kind of like Metagross. He can eat up shots. He can hit hard. He gets the plus one boost every time. Like, dude, he's insane. He's absolutely insane. I'm surprised, like, the, the horses are allowed. I really am. But considering you let, like, all the other uh, big big name Pokemon in here, I can definitely say it. Tailwind's gone, so my boy Rillaboom's going to have to clutch up. I do want to go for a Woodhammer. I, well, I have to go for a Woodhammer. We're going to set the Surge. Woodhammer, try to take out my boy right there. Get that surge rolling here. He does have a reflect up, but we get lots of boosts here. So maybe Woodhammer can pick up the KO. We might take mad recoil damage, but that might be worth it. Um, hmm. go here, spirit break, and then Woodhammer. We outspeed this thing. So let's get after it. Come on, baby. We are going to choice into a Woodhammer. Get it. Let's get it. Grimstone's gonna trick me now. You take my choice ban. Don't touch my choice ban. 
Don't you dare trust my choice, man. How'd you get the... F Wait. Oh, he also has a full incense. He took my choice ban. I don't think choice ban was doing doing enough like that. I don't think it was doing that, that big chunk right there. Now I'm full incense and that's game. He's just gonna drop another hailstorm on me. And that's, that's it. That is it. But yeah, I, even with that choice ban, I don't think we were taking out that glacier right there. I don't think I don't think we had enough enough damage to it, but I guess without the reflect, the reflect definitely helped him out tremendously. But dude, Glacier is just just a tough customer to beat. I thought we were playing pretty well there. Not a bad game again. Just Glacier comes out and kind of rolls out there. But we could take out the Grimstone if we want. But I'm actually just keep my Grimstone alive. I'm not gonna waste my turn. Not gonna waste it. Not even close. Not even close. But I do wonder. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys think if I had choice band. Are we getting that extra bit of health right there with that choice band? I don't think we would, but maybe we would. You guys know more than me, so definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Because if we take out the glacier there, it's definitely game when we win this, that match. But actually, wait a minute. Do I keep? Do I play this one out? I'm gonna play this one out. I'm gonna play this one out. I'm gonna play this one out because I know. Actually, no. Yeah, we don't have the full incense, so our spirit break will come out first. We will take this out. Hold up, I'm not gonna call a match. And of course, this thing eats. It eats like an absolute tank. Never mind. Now it's definitely over. All I needed was to KO that. And then I was thinking maybe I have a shot. But this thing doing mad damage on me. Doing mad, mad damage on me. But of course, Glacier is just like, yo, let me eat this up. This thing goes for a heavy slam. And now it's GG. Now it's GG. I should have just ran it. Kept my poor Grimstone alive. But 0-1 in our first battle. We're going to be hopping into our second battle. And try to get ourselves our first win for this video. Our next opponent is absolutely rocking out right here. He's got the Chlorophyll, Venusaur, and Torkoal combo. He's got that Metagross, I think it's an absolute beast. Reggie Draco, Crocodile, and Thunderous right here. Okay, I think I definitely... Uh, he says he has clear body, but I kind of want to lead the land, though. But at the same time, I just feel like there's not really much for us to do there. I could lead the... Hmm, do I want to lead this Zapdos? I could Dynamax start taking speed advantage. I kind of think that's a play. Just Dynamax early on, because if he leads Venusaur, we can absolutely do work on that thing. Um, but I lead Grimmy. Grimmy Grims. And I could trick and slow down a bunch of Pokemon kind of roll. Um, again, I could go Lando. Uh, who do I want to bring? Urshfu. I think Urshfu is always a good Pokemon to bring, so I definitely am going to bring Urshfu, especially for that Metagross. We can absolutely do some work on it. But I don't think he's leading Metagross. I really don't. Hmm. I don't want to go, like, maybe Rillaboom turn one. I could go Heatran. Who do I want to go? Uh, kind of want to go Heatran here. If he goes for like a Quake or something, we can eat that up with the Sugar Berry. Bring Urshfu. Then in the final spot, I think we go here. Hmm. Yeah. I don't, I don't really think we need the Reflect too, too much. I don't really think we need the Reflect and the, or the full Incense trick. I think we're I think we're thriving without it. But he's definitely going to bring... I think he's going to bring Venusaur, Torkoal, Metagross, and... Just something else, but I think those three are, are, are probably coming out, which is scary. But I think we have this one. Like, if we just if he leads Venusaur, we just Dynamax go for a max airstream and we roll from there, which I probably should have led. I probably should have led Grimstone. Yeah, see, here's the lead. I probably should have led Grimstone because I could have tricked easily. And he is gonna help out our Heatran, and then we Dynamax and trick in the speed boost. But I don't think he, I don't think he does too much work onto my what's it called? I don't think he does too much work onto my uh. On my Zapdos slot. But I, I am definitely gonna go. Ooh, I'm gonna go for an Earth Power here. Over on you. Because I don't want this thing uh, bulking up on any eruption. And kind of just uh, teeing off on both of mods. Because he's definitely gonna outspeed me here. I think he is gonna go for the Max Quake. I really do see that coming. That's why I did leave that Heatran. We got the Shuka Berry. We can eat up easily. And then we'll start getting speed boost as well. But this thing is like in a tailwind. This thing is like in a tailwind. So he's probably gonna outspeed us. He, he will outspeed my Heatran for the next two turns. But maybe not my Zapdos after, after we get plus one. Dude. Let's just see what happens here. He's definitely got to be Life Orb. Or maybe a Swift Pass? I don't see him being weak this policy at all. But yeah, we're going to match his Dynamax. Kind of get rolling from there. I definitely think he has Metagross in the back. Big old Life Orb dude over here. And man, I wish they were uh, physical attackers. So if Metagross comes in here and he hits up all my uh, Zapdos, we have that static ability. We can give him that Paralyze, slow him down, just pass it around on side. Let's see what he does. Yeah, Quake's coming out here. So very good call by me early on in the game. Like, before this match even started, I kind of said that. So we're going to get out here like this. This this thing is definitely rocking quick. as a coverage move. And we should be able to eat. Yes, thank you, Shuka Berry. Thank you, Shuka Berry. You absolutely rock. They are going to get a special defense boost, which is going to help them tremendously. Hopefully this thing's not a soul vested. 
because then if it is okay it's orb i think we won i think we won you love to see that you love to see that. this guy quit we made the plays and he knew the airstream was coming in let's get it guys <laughs> let's see if this would have taken out is he gonna take out it's big damage i'm gonna get that plus one that is big damage but definitely made good calls there. He, I think this dude quit. I think he just turned off his console after that. After that Shukaberry fight. Because he knows that the heat wave. Or, or he thinks that the heat wave is probably going to come. But in our case, we're just Earth Power over on the circle. And doing work on him. So his eruption doesn't do as much. But I like how it shows how the turn's going to end. And now it's seeing Etep Berry. Okay. So I don't know why this dude quit. I think he's after how speeds that Venus for now. And this thing is yawning. I don't think there was a need to quit there. But there we go. We'll take it. In that last battle, the guy actually did end up quitting. We got the win on our record board, which is awesome. So this is our third battle. Might be our final one. Depends on how long it goes. If it's a short one, we'll definitely throw in a fourth one for sure. But if it goes a little bit of the distance, then we'll just keep it here and have them as our three battles. But this is our third battle rocking out here. This guy also has the Venusaur and Torkoal combo alongside Porygon Z, Glacier, Regilecki, and Ursh. Okay, Glacier, your pain. I think I got to bring Heatran in just for that instance. So. The pain. It is such a pain. I think we go Heatran and uh, Zapdos combo again. I think we roll out with that and we rock out pretty strong. We definitely bring Urshfu in the back. And, and then Lando? We could actually lead Lando. We could actually lead Lando. Hmm. Do we want to lead Lando? I kind of want to keep... Uh, let's say we just bring Lando. I kind of just want to keep... Heatran in the front, considering it holds that like big threat on the Glacier and that Venusaur, which are probably his two top Pokemon. I think, I think that's the play. I think that's the play. Definitely to get that Heatran out there. But yeah, we, we made some good reads in that last battle. Like, eat, like before the matchup started, I was like, I'm gonna get this Heatran out here, cover up that uh, coverage move right there. We can be able to eat and kind of pose a big threat towards that Venusaur. So that was definitely a good play by us. He's gonna end up leading Porygon 2 and Glacier and Venusaur. Okay. Porygon 2 and Venusaur. Which I'm totally fine with. I think I just dine max and do I start boosting the speed? He's gonna download boost. He is gonna download boost, and I can totally see this guy uh swapping maybe. Um hmm. How do I play this one? I think I drop a I think I drop an airstream here one spot. Let me double up here. I can totally see him swapping. Or he's gonna go for a trick room. And if you go for a trick room, then, eh, then the airstream wasn't a call. But let's see what he does. He's probably going for a trick room. Man! Don't you dare go for a trick room. He might just protect. That'd be tough news. But yeah, I'm dying to actually miss Zapdos again. I really do like this Pokemon right here. Big old Cantonese Zapdos. He looks so sick. He looks so sick. Let's, let's thrive, dude. Let's thrive. Hopefully he doesn't go for a trick room. That'd be huge if he doesn't. We get this... Plus one speed. This should be able to KO, right? But yeah, clean it up. Easy. Easy. Light work. Light work. He's got to have the Torkoal in the back. Hopefully he does. He's got to have the Torkoal. But if he goes for a Trick Room, then Glacier is going to come out here, and that is going to be a pain. Now I'm kind of scared for that. Heat Wave comes out here. He's definitely Trick Room, man. I'm terrified. Stop. Don't do it. Don't do it. E. <laughs> no. All right. Let's get after it. Let's get after it. Glacier's coming out. Glacier's Dynamaxing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Fair. And now, how do I play? Heat wave? Into flare? Just double heat on this thing? I think we got a double heat. I think we double heat it. My lord. Chill on me, man. Chill on me. Hopefully, he thinks I'm guarding and he goes after my, uh, by Heatran, because that's that's just posing a threat. And maybe Zapdos can eat up a uh just maybe, just maybe Zapdos can eat up a, a hailstorm from the same. Because if he drops a hailstorm and Zapdos eats it, then I think we should be thriving here. Because then we got the heat, we got the drought, and then we can uh, get off another fire and just get heat. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens. This thing does have quake too, so maybe he'll go for a quake. He does go for the hailstorm, he's gonna pose that onto my Zapdos slot. Zapdos, come on, eat but eat it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't you dare double up into my Zapdos slot. Leave my Zapdos alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone, Porygon. You. Mm. I hate you. Give me the burn on this Glacier. I need this burn on this Glacier right here, right now. I need it. I need it. Glacier is going to be the death of us. He's going to be the death of us. Give me the burn. 
Hopefully it's not policy. It actually could be. It'd be annoying. Really not. It's definitely not policy. There's no way. My right, buffets all around. No burns. Okay. Uh, Lando, get out there. Get out there, Lando. Do your thing. Do your thing, buddy, old pal. Lando, eat on him. Uh, do I U-turn now? I don't think I Intimidate coming out of here, which is huge. Nice big old Intimidate. Okay. Mm, I got Heat Wave again. Definitely the play. But fly. No. He outspeeds me. He's gonna drop a rock slide. <laughs> He's gonna drop a rock slide here. Good happens. Glacier is gonna go for the max quake. Here comes my berry. Thank you. I like that. We should be able to eat this one up, no problem. With that sugar berry. It's not stab from him. We should be able to eat. He's not plus. He's minus one actually. Which is huge. I probably I should have swapped this turn. This would have could have been a huge turn to swap. But we're trying to kind of wait out this trickery over here. Porygon 2 is going to go down here for sure. Trigger Barry weakening that damage. He has to recover. Oh, he's not going down because he's recovering. What you mean? Annoying Pokemon. Bro, dude, Glacier is just the death of us today. He is just the death of us today. Heat Wave coming. Hey, give me the burn on the Glacier. I need the burn on the Glacier. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> oh! Ooh, you'd love to see it. That's exactly what we need. That's big, 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 big. Definitely big. I could you turn out now, which I probably am going to. Probably am going to. Now, uh, yeah, I should. I should you turn out and just double up the place here. That's big, big. That is big, big. Cause Trickum should end soon. Here comes a hailstorm. He's going after my Lando. You still dump on my Lando like that? You dump on my Lando like that? That's nuts. That is nuts. With the burn and you are minus one. Oh my. Oh my lord. And he's dead here too. Oh, this going to recover. Alright. When's Trick Room ending? Trick Room still has one more turn, which is terrible. Actually, does it? It might not have one. I think it does have one more. We're going to do that. I think we double protect this turn. And we waste out this whole uh, trick room thing. Yeah, let's play. Burn's gonna do a little bit of damage. Yeah, double protect. I think this that's our last option. It's a double protect. And wait out this trick room. And then get, being able to go into like a close combat and then. And a heat wave. Right? This heat wave, I'm thinking, should be able to take that out. Let's double protect it. Protect. Let me make sure there's one more turn left in trick. Yeah, one more. But definitely a double protect's gotta come out here. To get it, let's roll. Come on, jeans, you got this, baby. Wish the hail would stop soon, but nah, it's still got, it's still got a couple turns left. That just that just neglects my focus, Ash, which kinda sucks. But we still have a shot here. Dude, Glacier is the death of us, man. The day Glacier is just coming after us. He's just coming after us. There goes my protect. Another one coming out here. I, I, I think we're still in this one. For sure, for sure. We're still in this. But you're just gonna go for a close combat. Yeah, get blocked. Get out of my face. Sick of you. We're gonna try that. Like, get blocked. Get out of my face. Okay. I'm thinking 100% Heat Wave takes out that place here. Even though it is, what is he? Plus one on special defense? Burn's gonna come out here. Right? I'm thinking. It's gotta. Gotta. Well, we need it to. We're going to go here. And then we are going to drop a close combat into this thing. We got to pick up a double K. Right? That's, a, that's, a, that's our way of winning this match. Is that double protect right there. I'm, I'm, I'm fairly sure close combat takes out for you too, no problem. But we need this heat wave to take out the glacier. Come on, baby. Come on. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. E. E. I don't like that. I don't like that. Miss. I need to see the miss. Our defense is low, and he's gonna close combat on me. Come on. Miss. Miss it. Okay. Okay. You can go for that all day. Can the burn take him out? If burn takes him out, then we got ourselves a fighting shot. He went after heat train. I love that. Come on, burn. Come on, burn. Give me the money. I can, I, I can protect next turn, and, and that thing will go down. So if burn doesn't take it out, I'm still protecting this. I'm gonna burn damage. Take the thing. Come on. Come on. Give it. Give it. E. <laughs> Yo, dude, Glacier is too strong. And who's your final mind? Who's your final mind? Torx skis. 
Cork skis with the trout. We definitely protect this turn. Not worrying about that glacier. And then close combat for the win. There's a chance. There's a chance. Yo, your boy. Your boy's coming. He's he's coming after this. Close combat. Out my face. Ooh. Flamethrower. Oh, he's going for a flamethrower. Not an eruption. We might be able to eat up a flamethrower. Get him out of here. Get out of here, Glacier. All right, Urshfu. You got stab. You got super effective. You got the speed. This is your match to win, baby. Actually, it's not super effective. Why do I think it was super effective? Do I lower defense here, or do I just go for a wicked blow? I think a wicked blow is a better one. Right? Let's get it. Wicked blow. I don't want to lower my defense. We need to eat. We get the crit. We need to eat. We need to eat. We need to eat. Eat this up, buddy. Eat it up. Why well, I think it was super effective. Eat it. Mmm. A defense drop definitely. Definitely didn't help us there. But I thought it was super effective because of Glacier, but definitely great third battle right there. Awesome battles in today's video. Our first battle, Glacier kind of ran us. The second battle, we actually made the dude quit by making awesome reads. And then the third and final battle was actually a phenomenal battle. Glacier survived by like an inch of health, like one HP to actually end up winning the, the match. But that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.